We are really enjoying Michigan. This video is about Wilderness State Park at the very top of Lower Michigan. In our travels along Lake Huron, we left Pinconing, Michigan, the self-proclaimed cheese capital of Michigan, then went to Alpena, Michigan and camped on Long Lake, then on to Wilderness State Park near Mackinac City, which took us over 200 miles along the shore of Lake Huron, and it's still much bigger than that. Along the way, we stopped at a nice lakeside rest area for a walk and some lunch. It's hard to remember these are lakes with the beaches and the surf. We also stopped in Sheboygan, Michigan for our last Walmart visit for quite a while, it seems. The Michigan Park System requires a recreation passport for all vehicles entering any park properties. It is $34 for an annual pass for out-of-staters. So if you're towing a car like us, you need two for $68. Depending on how often you use it, it can be a good deal or a ripoff. Since the camping fees are also pretty high, we paid $35 a night for electric only. I don't like to have to pay to park at a place that I'm paying to camp. But then again, I'm pretty cheap. Wilderness State Park, Michigan. That's uh, Lake Michigan. It's really pretty. We're basically, I guess, one side in, two sides in from the being beachfront, but it's been good. It's a real busy park. Lots of people. I am sure these sites will be filled later today. Not a privacy park, so I'll give them a zero on the privacy rating, but it's been real nice. People have been friendly. The winds were really bad several times. Uh, we had a tr branch fall down out of that tree and bounce off the RV. It's electric. No water here. Uh, one of the loops seems to have full hookups. A lot of people here. A lot of families. There were people swimming. I've gone swimming. It was cold. I just love taking pictures of the cute chipmunks. They're just adorable. We ain't got real snakes here. Mm -mm. No baby snakes. We also saw a few deer. Mackinac City is at the point where Lake Huron meets Lake Michigan, so we hit our third Great Lake. We spent four nights at the park and didn't have a problem getting our 10,000 steps a day in. There are some nice hiking trails and walking along the camping loops keeps you in sight of the lake. The water in Lake Michigan is nice and clear but very cold. I thought Lake Huron wasn't bad, about the same as Florida Springs, but Lake Michigan is much colder. They said that the wind keeps the water moving from top to bottom. And it was pretty windy there in the open area near the lake. We kept our awning closed as it doesn't like high winds. It creaks and then auto closes. And those sounds can be scary. in Lake Michigan, freezing his butt off. The water was really cold, but it felt clean, refreshing. No salt, no sharks, no lots of wind and surf. Ooh! All right, that was cool. The sunsets on the lake were beautiful, as you can see. While we were camped at Wilderness State Park, we spent one day in Mackinac City seeing the sights. It's a tourist town and a gateway to visiting Mackinac Island, which is an even bigger tourist mecca. We save that for our next stop. 
Mackinac City is very walkable along the lakefront and offers lots of beautiful views along with some interesting historical markers. I like the story about the marine weather reporter that provided updates to passing ships on the current conditions. Unfortunately, he drowned performing his reporting. It is also interesting to see how the fur traders of the 1700s use this as a major base of operations as it is near where three of the Great Lakes come together. They went hundreds of miles in specialized canoes carrying furs and cargo. We had lunch at the Dixie Saloon in the heart of downtown. It was pretty good, but certainly tourist pricing. Did I say I'm cheap? We walked off lunch by shopping. Rhonda bought that tie-dyed t-shirt. Ice cream, fudge, and pasties are super popular up there. Next week, we make our way over the Mackinac Bridge to the Upper Peninsula. We're way out of Florida now. <laughs> Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.